action today as the pole position team comes face to face with strangers on the ice. thing on ice. Yeah, if I don't freeze my hubcaps off first. Come in, Dan and Jess. Dan, Uncle Zachary's calling. You take it, Tess. I'm busy. Dan's the greatest. He can drive on anything. <laughs> This is for penguins, Dan, not cars. Take a back seat, Rody. Let a human show you how it's done. What you want? I'm taking the truck with me. Well, I, I guess you can't argue with that, Dan. Uncle Zach better get here soon, or I'm gonna be a snow cone. In there, Uncle Zach? Close, but no cigar, Dan. What's this about, Uncle Zachary? Inside that crate is a revolutionary new telecommunication satellite, which is to be launched in two days. It was designed by Dr. T.H. Russell who beamed the plans to us by computer link so we could build this working model. No one at pole positions ever seen Russell, who's a bit of a hermit. The doctor's currently working on a vital project and can't take the time to travel to us to do the final check on the satellite. That's where you come in. You've got to deliver that crate immediately. I'm feeding the coordinates into Rody now. I can't go around delivering packages. I got things to do. I'm sure you'll rise to the occasion, Dan. Good luck, and thanks. Why is he always so bonehead stubborn? It runs in the family, Dan, on the male side. What's that terrible noise? It's the truck's brakes. 
They can't take this climb. Well, I guess we can't get the crate to this Dr. Russell. Nice try, Dan. But if we can't bring the crate to Dr. Russell, we'll bring Dr. Russell to the crate. Perfect for practicing my new stunt. Perfect for an accident. What do you mean by that? It's too slippery, Dan. I will not Now do just fly this one solo, Rody. We're spinning out of control. Put her in hovercraft mode, Rody. Fast. I can't, Dan. The wheels are frozen. Right. Dan, are you all right? Dan? Me? Didn't even mess my hair. Bad news, fellas. My front axle's busted. We'll give you a tow, Rody, until we find the garage for repairs. Meanwhile, we'll continue on to Dr. Russell's. Let me drive, sis. It's the least I can do for getting us into this mess. On second thought, you'd better drive. You could use some practice time behind the wheel. You're all heart, Dan. <gasps> oh. You okay, Dan? 100%. I've never seen one like it, but I'm sure I can fix it. That's awful nice of you. Make sure you don't scratch the Chromax. Who, uh... <laughs> Gotta get this radio fixed. How far to Russell's house from here, Rody? Close, just over the hill. Hmm, no answer. Russell must be out. If you folks are, uh, making a delivery, I'm in. You're Dr. Russell? Ted Russell. Uh, pleased to meet you. We're from pole position. But there's been a little change in plans, Dr. Russell. The satellite's in our truck. I'll take you there. Daisy and I'll check to see if Rody's fixed. Double time it, Wheels. Hold on to your hats. Foreign car, huh? Are you the guys with the delivery for Dr. Russell? Yeah. Great. I'm Tim Russell. Glad I caught up with you. Great. A minute ago we had none. Now we got two. Two? Why, what do you mean? You and the one my sister just went off with to the truck. But this is simply dreadful. He's an imposter. Uh, Brody, can you raise wheels and warn Tess? Let me try. Too bad I'm not getting through. We've got to catch up with them. Right, but we'll have to wait for my car. Dan, let me go. I can show them the way. Are you sure? I'm a big girl, Dan. OK. I'll get Rody and follow you. Hey, there's my sister in there. Is crazy. I have a bad feeling about those guys, Kuma. We better go after them. Don't you know it's illegal to sit in the middle of the street? Excuse me, but I need to borrow your Jeep. Hey!
Could you drive? I'll give directions. Are you dumb or just plain crazy? Two different Dr. Russells have just taken my sisters. Two Dr. Russells? That sounds strange. We best get to the bottom of this. Your power's running low, Wheels. Time for a recharge. Thanks, Tess. Now for the satellite, Dr. Russell. Oh, you beautiful doll. This is the real Dr. Russell, Tess. I know you. You're Ted Ratchet of Interdynamic Plastics. Well, I know you too, Motormouth. Tim LePage of Standard Components. You're both crooks? Industrial spies, if you please. In competition with each other. But we could team up. Why not? <laughs> because we'll stop you. We'll see about that. Can't move a transistor to help Tess and Daisy. If only I could get through to Rhodey. This cave will give you some shelter, and the heater will keep you warm. As soon as we get to safety, we'll call the authorities and tell them where you are. Now I ask you, are we nice guys or what? Daisy, we've got to get out of here. That heater is melting the ice. The cave could collapse any minute. Oh, it's a 328-inch computer. I didn't know those were available yet. We're not. Oh, I see. Still working on the temper, hmm? Rody, come in. Well, am I glad to hear you. Both those guys were phony. They've taken the truck and tied Tess and Daisy up in an ice cave. Wheels, feed us the coordinates. We gotta make tracks. Just get out of these ropes. Coordinates, the cave should be right here. So where is it? Huh? It's oh. right underneath us. It's a cave in. Dropping in? Not at all. But you're gonna have a lot harder time getting out. Look out! Uh, uh, now what do we do? If we could lighten the load, we can move the truck. Let's dump their car. But, but how do we start this thing? I think I can help you there. Hey, it talks. Never mind that. How can you help? I know the combination. Just connect me to my memory bank in the car. Like this? Exactly. Now let's start it. Perfect. That's just what I had in mind. Whoa! We'll never get out at this rate. I know another way, but we'd need to make a fire. Would these help? Emergency flares. Okay, everybody against the far wall. I hope this works.
Thanks. Boy, that was close. Now let's see if we can get this baby out of here. Oh, no. I got a rule with old cars. Once they start giving you trouble, get rid of them. Now let's go get the truck. Come in, Rhodey. Emergency. Sounds like Wheels is in trouble. Give us a status report, Wheels. Those goons have stuck me and the car on a big ice cube. And I can't connect up to the power. We're on our way. Keep your cool. Very funny. Rhodey, get a fix on Wheels. We'll meet him in the Jeep. You got it. Meanwhile, we'll catch up with the truck. <laughs> Oh. On second thought, I'll go after the truck. And you'll ride in the car. You ever skied before, Sonny? Nah, but how hard could it be? <laughs> you'll find out. There's Wheels! And he's headed right for that waterfall! I always told Wheels he'd end up on the scrap heap, but I never thought it'd be one made of water. Stay here with Dora and Rhodey. Tess, don't. It's too dangerous. You'd do it for me, Wheels. So here goes nothing. You got one tough sister, kid. I sure do. I really think I'm getting the hang of this. Take it easy, Kuma. You're safe. Looks like I spoke too soon. I got the hang of this at all! Did you hear something? Must be those lousy brakes. Too cold to start. Hovercraft mode wheels. You said it. They made it. Hallelujah. All right. That was super teamwork. Now we've got an account to settle. So let's burn rubber. through the side windows and grab them. Ready?
sure in a hurry. Your car's all fixed, though. Here, take the bill out of this. That should just about cover it. Time to take on our truck. Maybe I'd just better lie down. each learned about the delivery in advance. They hope to steal the satellite by getting to you first with fake IDs. From now on, they'll be able to spy on each other in jail. But we're right back where we started. We still have to get to the real Dr. Russell. Dora! How did you know the combination? The full name's Theodora. Theodora Russell. You're T.H. Russell? And now, I'd better get to checking my device. Well, if it's a Kuma catcher, it works just fine. 